Hey, love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. I'm just hoping that you're healing on so many levels because you truly deserve it. You're aiming towards things that you truly want in your life, but you know, we have to be able to let go of things to be able to bring more things in. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And also, if you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're trying to get to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes and good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And um, thank you so much for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. And I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. It's truly a blessing for you to be a part of my journey my journey as I tell you uh open my life up and tell you my story um and it's a blessing to be in yours as well and I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um my meditation music is bring positive changes 432 hertz positive uh, mindset self-esteem confident booster and binary beats and I will post that link in the description box below and my video uh, is Twin Flame 101. Pain will mold you into a different person, but it's your choice. Uh, but the choice is yours on what direction it takes. It is so true. It is so true. You know, we have all been through trauma. You know, I know you've probably seen posts or even your parents saying, you know, certain situations can either make you or break you, but that choice is yours on which one you're going to choose to take. You know, um, going through so many painful experiences uh, is, you know, it has its ups and downs, you know, um, when, but when you start looking at it at a different way, you know, it took me a lot of times, even though when I still had my dark moments where I just tell God, I'm so tired of living through this situation, you know, things, <laughs> I'm just ready for things to be over with, but everything has a lesson that has to be taken on on the situations you're in matter of fact i just had a prime example that's why i'm such in a good mood uh with it being memorial day like i told y'all if you've been with me for a while you know you have heard me tell you about the situations that i've been in um when it came to my adopted family you know not really my mom you know it's like my me and my mom already made amends so i really don't like talking to her talking about her like that but you know i've learned a lot from my mom in the relationship we had you know um it wasn't a very good healthy relationship between me and my adopted mom but towards the end you know i got the mother that i truly needed even though it was at that short period of time i'm able to say that you know god has blessed me with a beautiful relationship with my mom you know towards the end of her life during her transition um my adopted dad just called me right after I finished my last video. I was like, I didn't even see my phone ring. It was right next to me and it didn't even vibrate. And then I was looking at the number and um, I was like, this number looked familiar. So I went ahead and listened to the voicemail and I hear him on the phone and all of a sudden my hands start shaking. I'm like, why am I getting so nervous? You know, I already got closure from this the other day, you know, uh, being you know, I wasn't really chummy with them, but my daughter and all of them kept looking at me, you know, I was talking, but it was like an awkward silence, you know, and, you know, they trying to ease back in, but he asked me, you know, hey, we're having a barbecue today, and, you know, um, it would be good if we can see you, and so I took a second, and I hear my dad tell me, you know, basically not even tell me anything, I heard the universe get quiet real quick to see, you know, they always get, you know how they say the teacher is always quiet during the test. So I called him back and I told him, you know, hey, I was being cordial the other day. Um, there ain't no animosity. But, you know, I remember everything that you've done to me. 
you know, regardless of you uh, not being honest with me. You know, I was that bigger person. But I'm going to take that sorry I never got. But there's no way I can be able to rekindle anything. I wasn't trying to rekindle anything. You know, um, basically, I was seeking closure. You know, uh, I said nobody wants to tell me the honest truth and be honest about my life. I need to be able to uh, get closure from my biological family. And you won't give that to me. So since that, I, we really don't have nothing to talk about, you know, and I'm talking to him like I'm talking to you, you know, but I said, I do appreciate the invite though. And he was like, you can hear it in his voice. Okay. Okay. I said, well, I hope you have a blessed day and just got off the phone. All I know is it, it sounds like a football stadium up in here in the universe. Like, yes, she did it. She did. I said, I knew when I was being tested, y'all ain't, I mean, y'all slick, but you, you know, you weren't slick on this situation. I already knew, but it was like, it's a blessing. You know, even though there's times where I get upset at life and, you know, I look at stuff like, you know, I wouldn't have had to go through this stuff if it wasn't for you. Me and my children wouldn't have to struggle if it wasn't for you. You know, you robbed me of a lot of things. You messed me up mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. You know, especially sexually, too, because I was womanized. But it was like when I finally seen that this situation tried to break me in so many ways possible. And there's times that I lost my mind. I had to go through hell and high water to go find it. But when I constantly see the progress that I'm making, I, nobody's perfect. I'm still healing on all different levels because knowing this is the family I only knew. And just to know that you have taken me away from my family, my biological family, you have jeopardized the, the communication between me and my father when my father has desperately tried to come see me. And, you know, if you're adopted and you know that your family has true intentions for you and you they know sooner or later you're going to want to know who your biological family is but my family was determined to be very deceptive about situations you know i carried guilt a long time because my dad has been back and forth here to georgia he was like matter of fact the last um concert he had he was in atlanta at fox theater that day he came to see me because he knew he was dying he knew he had stuff going on and he wanted that closure and I didn't come because they were being very deceptive about you know what the meeting was for you know we got a surprise for you those are not the type of people that have surprises for me if it is it never end well you know so I took guilt and held that for a long time I cried many a days and I said I could have been with my dad if you know if I would have just went over there but it's just like when people have abused you for so long and they break their neck to belittle you or you know pressure buttons it's hard for me to go over there when you say you got a surprise it's like I probably can think about one time they surprised me and that was with a car and I knew about that you know and they got that for my birthday uh, when I was 21 but being able to see this situation and see the bigger picture has really humbled me and bless me in so many ways even though I'm still healing from it there's days I cry because I miss my dad that physical sense he always tells me Rosalind I'm in your head all the time you know you're always in mine so you can't miss me and I told him it's not the fact of that missing you seeing you dancing on the stage having a good time with other people you being able to spread your love in song for a lot of people those are the things that I truly miss seeing you know I, I mean it's like God has blessed me with his music God has sent the, the you know music that he has wrote about me to send it towards my way allow me to know how he felt about me you know and those are the blessings that I'll cherish all the time you know I never you know when I cried really bad yesterday because I was dealing with the dark night of the soul you know purple rain just kept playing and playing and playing I'm like dad please you know you stop telling me sorry this has nothing to do with you even though it does it's like you know there's at times I really felt like he blamed himself you can't blame yourself for that but just like you know I blame myself for certain things but this right here this me telling opening up the world and telling them about the things that has occurred in my life things that has happened that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy you know has gave me so much strength to be able to allow you to know my life you know I tell you what what needs to be told to help others you know be able to comprehend on the things that you're going through it could be so tragic in your life and it's like you know if you've been with me a while you know the ups and downs I went through you know what these people have done to me and 
it's just the fact is I can appreciate that pain because it has made me <laughs> and I went the positive direction even though days are not always you know the best you know because a lot of times I look at my situation and I say God I, I, you know I'm just keep going I don't understand <laughs> why I gotta keep dealing with this but I'm gonna keep going and just for me to be able to learn every day heal every day knowing there's a bigger purpose and once something's been taken out it's going to be replaced with better that's 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 what keeps me in good spirits you know even though there's things and my phone sit up here <laughs> opened up as soon as i said that and it, it's just like i can appreciate all my hard times you know when i first started this was like a blessing but it was also a curse but i can see that is more of a blessing than anything because it allowed me to know my authentic me. Uh, it allowed me to know what levels I'll be able to reach if I just put the effort into it, knowing that everything's going to turn out fine. Not everything, not everything is what it seems. Uh, that I keep being told not everything is what it seems you have to go through these certain situations you have to go through a process of pain you have to go through a process of grief you have to go through a process of sorrow and then from it goes from sorrow you know to appreciation from appreciation to happiness to happiness to love you know all these different stages we have to go through to be able to appreciate the awakening that you went through you know a lot of times we feel like our spiritual awakening is punishing us because how what powerful effect it came on you it just felt like somebody just came back and went bah! <laughs> slapped the mess out of you but those are the only way we're going to be able to listen to be able to know something has been dormant for us in so long inside of us that is at that time okay they they went through enough allow us to just put this dump truck of issues on them real quick so they can wake up and find out who you are because if you look at the situations that's been placed upon you you would have never known your strength you would have never known anything really about you you might have a hint on certain things about you because a lot of people are blessed to be able to know oh i was an empath when i you know i was little you know um my family was open to it but it's just like when it comes to hey okay there's probably like one or two people you know in that certain immediate family or even that just that one that's going through this you know at that time and then it's just like when my children they're all like really strong empaths and there's only one of them that embraces that you know and i mean it's just truly a blessing to me because it's like the situation I've been in is allowing people to know that if she, she can go through this and this is some really hectic stuff, what makes you think I can't get through this and this is a lot, you know, because people, some people can't even comprehend other things that I went through. A lot of things I've, I've held back on not telling because I had to let that go. So it's just like going through this situation, I was so proud of myself because I could have went off, you know, just like I felt like one of Pillar Scout back when he told me, smiled in my face and told, you know, said, it's good that you're being a better person. But he thought that was coming back in line for him to be able to sink in and get me on that, reel me back in on being their punching bag again. And I was just like, you know, I was calm and collective with you when i was in your face but i told him i did that for closure baby wasn't trying to re rebuild anything with you because i know it's a different when i didn't know everything but now since i know everything you did it you did it for and i'm still you know i said why am i going to bring up the things that i know just to catch him in a lie because he's not gonna you know my, my father my my mom's ex-husband is like the worst narcissistic person i ever met you know, so it's just like, you know, it, in a way I said, it's not funny, but then it is, it's like, I'm sorry, not sorry, <laughs> but I'm glad, you know, I had to make that phone call because I don't need you to keep calling me, <laughs> you know, asking me to come hang with you because that's not going to happen. So being able to deal with that blessing, you know, I knew I was being tested and I truly appreciated that. And I can hear the heavens and, you know, all universes like, she's finally getting it and as soon as i said that it's 12 21 and then my phone lit up like zzz, you know i'm finally getting it you know i can't allow the things that they have placed on me to keep holding that you know when you know a person is you know 
can piss you off like that, that means they still got power over you. But the way I was talking to him, I was proud of myself and actually shocked. Because I could have read the hell out of his ass, front way and back way. I mean, I don't have respect for you. I lost that a long time ago. But just knowing I have to, I feel pity for them more than I'm mad. You know, because it was like yesterday I was up in my feelings because it almost took me back 10 paces. But now I have to feel sorry for you because the fact is you have to be a real broken person to be able to do the things that you have put on me. You know, because any, and I told my daughter, any other person would have probably blew their daggone head off if they would have did that to them. You know, but I'm not going to be one of the statistics that I hear about somebody that had a psych, psych uh, uh, like a mental breakdown and went all guns and blazing off on some people. I can't do that. I got to allow universe and, uh, universe and god deal with that karma with them you know I'm, I'm dealing with my own but i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video i'm not gonna do no outro because this video is already six minutes long but no the incidents that you're going through is for a valuable reason it's not to break you it can make you but the choice is yours so i hope you were able to as soon as i said that phone lit up again so allow yourself to take that healing that you truly deserve and i'll see you on my next video much love to you peace be wild.